Let's read this paragraph without sentence rhythm. Now, you're going to notice that if I pronounce all words equally with the same stress, it also creates more of a monotone, and it makes it much more difficult for native speakers to understand what I'm saying. If you are confronted with an attacking bear, there are three things that you can do which may protect you from these predators. First, if the bear charges, run away as fast as you can. Second, if there is a tree nearby, climb it quickly, for most bears are unable to follow you up the tree. Third, as a last resort, no, as a last resort, the best defense against a bear is a gun. Shoot it as many times as you can, which will make it less likely to attack you. So notice, it, it's even hard for me to read it like that because that's not what native speakers do, but that's an example of reading this paragraph without sentence rhythm. I bolded in blue the function words. Notice words like if, are, with, and, you have that, you have can, you have which, may, from, if, the, as, as, if, a, for, to, up, as a, the, again, a and a, and then as, as, which will, and then to. So all of these words, notice how they're not that important. I mean, let me just show you what I'm talking about. If, if I read this without even pronounce, even saying those words, for example, you confronted attacking bear, there are three things you do, protect you, these predators first, Bear charges, run away fast, you can. Second, there is tree nearby, climb it quickly. Most bears are unable to follow you up, follow you the tree. Third, last resort, best defense against bear is gun. Shoot it many times you can, make it less likely attack you. Notice that even when I don't put those function words in there, the meaning is still pretty clear. So that is the sentence rhythm, it's a combination of unstress and then stress words. Now, I'm not saying you should not pronounce any of these words in blue. I'm just saying you don't put as much stress on those words. So imagine in a minute ago, I was talking about word stress, how you have to identify, you know, the stress syllable of a word and that stress syllable needs to be clearer, longer, louder, and higher pitched. In this case, you have to look at each sentence and identify the most important and least important words in those sentences, and then put more stress on the most important words in the sentence. So what does this sound like with sentence rhythm? If you're confronted with an attacking bear, there are three things that you can do which may protect you from these predators. First, if the bear charges, run away as fast as you can. Second, if there's a tree nearby, climb it quickly. For most bears are unable to follow you up the tree. Third, as a last resort, the best defense against a bear is a gun. Shoot it as many times as you can, which will make it less likely to attack you. There you go. So that was with sentence rhythm. So probably most international students, people learning English, even when they get advanced, this is one of the last things they can do that will help them to speak more naturally.